So what's good, y'all? So let me ask y'all something real quick, right? Just um simple question. I'm crazy for letting my shorty eat food out my butt or like let me let me put y'all on real quick. What you want to do is what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another nukes top five. This is uh number three. We know we listen, we we rolling for real. I ain't even gonna lie. I told y'all it's October. You know, we going crazy with the scary stuff. I want to find even more scary stuff than usual. We're not just limited to nukes top five. I'll need to find some more scary videos, scary games. You already know about the scary games. I got a scary game stream coming up next week to be exact. Um, I think Monday, one of these days, but look, thank y'all for all the love and support. We just going to get straight into this video. Love you guys. Y'all mean the world to me. Uh, shout out to all of y'all. If I could kiss all of y'all on your hot mouths. Um, okay, bet. So we, we good. Then. Um, <laughs> Woo, let's, you know, let's get straight to the video. Disregard everything. I just, uh, y'all good though. Y'all ate what y'all eat. What's y'all favorite food? Put me on to some drinks. I ain't, I haven't, I've been sober for a while, a long while. Put me on. You know what I mean? We trying to celebrate. We got to celebrate our little wins over here. Now you don't have to celebrate with alcohol or weed. I know some of y'all be doing meth and coke and shit. I ain't calling nobody out. You know who you are. Um, <laughs> but nah, thank y'all for coming. I appreciate y'all. Let's sit back, get comfortable, watch this video together. Uh, go follow my Twitch if you haven't already. Let me know if I should go live on YouTube more. I just might. I ain't gonna lie, I just might. I might do it next week too, just randomly. Who knows? Oh, this is uh, Nukes Top 5, 10 scary videos <clears throat> of ghosts. Factory worker Kama Kaley recently moved from his home country of Greenland to live and work in Denmark. But little did he know that the apartment he moved into had a horribly dark past. Seven years ago, a 49-year-old man was brutally attacked and lost his life right outside the apartment's front door. After Kama moves in, he begins to notice his things moving and falling to the floor for no reason. He hears the creepy sound of someone knocking on his door, and doors inside the apartment slam shut for no reason. One afternoon, Kama hears strange sounds coming from somewhere inside his apartment. <laughs> he pulls out his phone and starts to record as he tries to find the source of the odd noises. But then, this happens. That is a clean ass bathroom. Oh, I would have shit it on myself right there. You would have heard a wet ass clapping. That would have been the shit bubbles. It won't open. Oh, hell no. He got a nice little. Nice little clean place. That's all a man need for real. Nigga. Kama gets a good jump oh, scare as a door slam shut right in front of him. And uh, it seems to literally scare a fart right out of him. We here with it. Oh, mm hmm. But now, this is where the fun ends and things start to get really dark. Oh, shit. Because another day, not long after sunset, the eerie activity in the apartment starts up once again. Now, Kama is a bit scared, but once again, he takes out his phone to try to record proof of the creepy activity in his apartment. What happens next is truly creepy.
That's all I need to see. That's it. Catch me at a bar or some shit. I come home drunk, I'll be less scared. Some horror movie shit, like hell no. A cupboard door opens I can't, by itself, bro. <laughs> and Kama's helmet slides across the floor. Later that night, Kama decides to live stream from his apartment. He says that he's having trouble sleeping because he keeps hearing things moving and falling to the floor over in the next <clears> room. <throat> what happens next, live on camera? Is downright chilling. Oh, live, huh? <laughs> Damn it. I <laughs> wasn't a fart, was it? Mm mm, mm mm. Fuck no. He just chilling. Something fell in the other room. <laughs> My nigga. I swear, bro. I'm right with you. Nigga, is that somebody in a window? Like right there? I know y'all saw that. Kama hears the sounds of his belongings falling to the floor in the other room. But when he goes to investigate, the drawers of a small cupboard slide open on their own. Kama's had enough and runs down the stairs and out of the building. But when he looks up at his apartment window, he is shocked to see someone or something standing inside his apartment, seemingly looking right down. Look, my nigga, I ain't even religious, but like at that, at a point in time like that, I'm gonna start speaking in tongues. It's bro. When I tell you I'm out crazy to ghosts to the point where I'm not even scared no more, it's, I will sm it'll be shit smeared on the walls, all of that. I don't care if I'm gonna be the one living there, I'll clean it up. But that nigga gotta know who he dealing with. This is my credit, I pay rent, you don't. Let's get back to the video. And him. So with everything that has happened, could Kama's apartment actually be haunted by the restless ghost of mm -hmm. the man who's You ain't gonna scare me like that there. and slam my shit. Know what you think just a quick side note but greenlandic is only spoken by <clears> around <throat> 57,000 people in the entire world oh damn i so never even heard of that before thank you to nukes top five viewer wilhelm for translating that's what's up nukes top five viewer videos Ooh. nukes top five viewer natalie hints is taking a few iphone live photos of her sister-in-law and niece at a scenic lookout in utah when suddenly she notices something very odd <clears throat> What the? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who bust their ass a mile back? Like when Natalie watches the live photos back. She notices a bicycle riding by at an alarming speed in the background. What? All on its own. There's no rider, and there's no one chasing the runaway bike. Natalie says she is creeped what out the by the strange photos. 
Nah, the nigga fell like two miles back. What the fuck? Steven Figueroa says that he's been experiencing paranormal events since he was three years old. He says like me. he's even seen full bodied shadow apparitions. Sound in like his me. Home. So back in 2013, when Steven was 18 years old, he says that he was finally able to capture proof of what he's been experiencing. But it's a bit potato because all he had to record back then was his iPod touch. I still got mine. We used to look at that and be like, it's so clear. Oh, fuck. Notice that the trash can first tips slightly forward, then moves back, then crashes over onto the floor. A few bags and suitcases fall over as well for no apparent reason. Throwing trash on my floor, Cut bitch. 2017, and Steven has now upgraded his video with a new phone. I'm gonna be a ghostbuster today. When he hears a strange rattling noise coming from the hallway outside his bedroom, he once again decides to try to record some proof of his paranormal experiences. And this is when things Hey, hey, my really man. Really? My man, don't do that. Oh, a picture hell. frame on the wall violently moves and raises up almost as if it's trying to fly right off the wall. Since this video, Stephen says that his grandmother cleansed and saged their home. They hung and the for shit the out that six picture. years, he's happy to report he's never had another paranormal <clears throat> experience. This next creepy video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer, Paulus Hellinger. In his email, Paulus says that his brother was home all alone one night at their farm in Finland. Out the window, he notices that the light in the barn has mysteriously turned on. Mm -hmm. Paulus says that this strange event has happened many times, but no one in his family can figure out why. Now the farm is in the middle of nowhere, and the man is all alone. But nevertheless, he gathers his courage and goes out to turn off the light. He Do films thing, the barn bro. as he searches for any explanation any as to business. why the light turned on. You better have what a 12 gauge with you. Is downright creepy. Fuck that. Oh, it's pitch black too. Nice. Real nice. I love when that happens. I hate the setting of this. I hate everything about this video. Turn light off. Turn it off. Get up out of there. Yep. Did you see it? A pale, undefined face. Okay, that's what I was looking at. That's crazy. Of the barn. That's crazy. Seemingly watching the man mm -hmm. before disappearing into the night. Oh, no. Nah. Thankfully, whatever it was seems to have scurried off and the man returned home unharmed. But what do you think this is? Is it something paranormal or perhaps something even more terrifying? No. A real person stalking around the farm in the middle of nowhere in the dead of night. That's Steve Wilkos in the window right there. Hanako-san. They got the same head. A group of friends at a high school in Japan hear crying coming from the restroom during their lunch break. Now in Japan, there is a famous legend of a girl named Hanako-san. This young girl's spirit is said to haunt restrooms in schools across Japan. The group moves in, all of them a bit hesitant to investigate the source of the creepy sound. Needless to say, it did not go well. I forgot they don't have like real toilets. Oh, fuck no. That's clear as day. Hey, don't. I thought she was the ghost.
Let's go. Fuck up out of here. I can't. No, the girls are just about to leave until no. they suddenly hear a oh loud bang and go back for a look. My heart skipped the, the beat. I can't. The distorted face of a young girl can be seen oh. inside one of the restrooms. Let stalls. me just give me a minute. Let me just get my shit together, cause. Uh. I'm changing my drawers right after this video. Uh. The group yeah. runs in fear. Let's do that. The video cuts. Now, unfortunately, there's no source to be found for this video. It appeared on the internet as mysteriously as the Japanese legend. You got me all the way. So did the girls up. capture evidence of Hanako-san, or is it all? Let it have been a hoax, please, because I can't deal with shit you like decide. that. It's always the foreign the video. That's the worst. A girl says that she lives in a spooky house that was built in the early 1800s. She says that as long as she can remember, strange, unexplained things have happened around the home, including odd noises and creepy, unexplained footsteps in the middle of the night. Tragically, the girl's mother passed away inside the house under mysterious circumstances. Soon after, the girl's granddad became convinced that there was something evil inside the home. Y'all stayed For there? For unknown reasons, her granddad sealed his bedroom shut, hid the key, and left the house, never to return. Mm -hmm. The old man's room remained locked off for the next six years. Then suddenly, one day the key to the room was found just lying in the open on the living room table. Oh no, that's a no setup. explanation as to mm -hmm. how it got there. Nope. One night, the girl and her friends decide to explore the allegedly haunted house. Oh, using a hell. spirit box in hopes of getting some kind of answer from the other side. And that's when things take a very unexpected turn. If there's anybody with us, can you tell us your name? Oh, shit, yo, bitch, bitch. The girl's sister is unaware of what's going on and simply steps out of the shower to go to her room. The group thinks it's a ghost yeah, I almost threw up. the f out. But things are about to take a much more sinister turn as the three friends finally decide to unlock and explore her granddad's six-year sealed bedroom. Oh, it's just a bedroom? Are you going in? No, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. I don't, I don't feel good. No, <laughs> no I, I don't. I'm you guys got so lightheaded. That? I just got. So, well, don't be going through the stuff. I just got so lightheaded. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. I got lightheaded as soon as I walked in here. Yeah. You are not welcome here. Oh, my head's itching. I think there's it lights in here. Leave. You are not welcome. Why is Santa Claus locked up? That's what I'm that's, that thing is creepy. Why Santa, why are you locked up? It could be an object in here. Yeah. Do you guys ever think about that? Like it could be an object, you could just burn the whole room. Are you doing in the closet, dude? Oh my back's burning. <laughs> is it really? Is my back's you burning? Oh, no. oh my god. Oh shit. Stop. Stop. No, get out. 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 Get oh no, I ain't even back. funny. Stop. No, you did. Stop. You're giving me anxiety. Oh my God. You're kidding, right? Damn. No. And the it's just three. Their friend seems to get scratched like, by something inside the room. It took nah. us like five minutes to unlock that door. Like it yeah. wouldn't open. We went in and immediately I felt lightheaded. Didn't you say you yeah, didn't feel good? I, I, I did not feel good. Yeah. Just... Immediately I felt lightheaded and I was like, okay. But, okay, weird. But I was just trying to like play it off, you know, like it's it's not real. He said that his back was burning, and as a joke, I was like, oh, imagine if he had scratch marks, and then he had them. And in the video, you obviously can see there was no one near him. After this terrifying ordeal, the group believes something is very wrong inside that house. They say that they plan on just staying out of that bedroom. Lock but that what bitch do you think back. is going on here? Could there be a dark entity linked to that bedroom, mm. or? Is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Lost Soul. In Michoacan, Mexico, a photographer named Paco is waiting in his studio for his friend Eduardo to arrive to work on a project. Paco suddenly hears his friend Eduardo outside his open window, talking loudly to someone on the street. Paco checks his security camera to see what's going on. 
and uh, just watch. Te lo juro por Dios, güey. Un señor se me acercó y me preguntó, oiga, disculpe, ¿dónde es la pinera? Y por eso le explico, le digo que tenía que cruzar y darle más para abajo, güey, te lo juro. Te lo mm -mm. juro, güey, no mames. Eduardo swears that a man was asking him for directions, but the security footage shows no one there, just an odd white mist. So did Eduardo have a conversation with a ghost? Or a brief mental breakdown? Because no, sir. he seems convinced. So let me know what you think. Alice Attic. Oh, that's crazy. Amateur paranormal investigator Phil Koch has been posting strange captures from his supernatural explorations for 15 years on YouTube. What the hell was, the hell was that? <laughs> Something just crashed right next to us. In fact, I featured Phil's videos on this channel many years ago. I remember this video, yo. Now, I didn't know that was this him. particular night, Phil and his teenage son are performing a paranormal investigation in the attic of an allegedly haunted house in West Allis, Wisconsin. And things get weird. On the floor. Mm -hmm. So. 56? 70? Uh, between. Without them knowing, a voice seems to whisper, go outside. 7? But what happens next shocks them to their core. Like 12 30. And uh, I think that it was about an hour since we heard those footsteps coming through here, but I don't know what that was from. What's our average temperature? So about 37, 38. That's why I'm cold. And I'm getting like a point two all the way through the room. Wait, it's going to 45. There's what? 50. Oh, I got a 50. I got a reading here. Oh, okay. Ow, ow, ow. I got a reading here. Oh, oh, okay. Ow, ow, Man. Ow. Bill and his son have had enough. They just run right out of the attic. I would have damn near hit one of these. The video, Got up out of there. Viewers claim that they can actually see something sitting in the chair that slides out. What? But what do you think? The wandering patient. This next video takes place in an allegedly haunted hospital. Now the story goes that the spirit of a little girl who passed away still wanders the hospital halls, unable to move on. Down in the hospital cafeteria, the staff working the late night shift experience something that makes their blood run cold. Mm. Mm. I know y'all seen it. Now the hospital Some shit walk right past all know the creepy story of the little ghost that supposedly wanders the hospital. So they watch in terror as the cafeteria gates and automatic door open and close on their own, almost as if someone is walking there. But as the doors close, a small dark figure can be seen walking by the doors on the other side. Mm -hmm. But whatever it is, it somehow just doesn't trigger the automatic doors. So could the stories be true? And is the hospital indeed haunted by the spirit of a little girl? 
I leave that up to you to decide. The Madison Seminary. Two teams of paranormal investigators decide to explore the allegedly haunted Madison Seminary in Madison, Ohio. Madison Seminary was built in 1847, and over the years the building has been used as a school, a hospital, a mental asylum, and even as housing for the oh, grieving families no. <laughs> of men who died in the Civil War. With Too a much long, going dark on. history like that, it's no surprise that many ghosts are said to haunt its abandoned halls. So one spirit in particular is said to be that of a very unfriendly doctor who tries to frighten and physically attack anyone oh, who visits no. Madison Seminary. Mm -hmm. Now, the team of paranormal investigators has just started to explore the building when investigator Mandy notices something very odd. You're super red. What? Am I gonna die? What? Come on. Am I gonna die? No. Oh, yeah. Dude, he's super red. Look at that. Oh, the sun just came through. Hey. Oh, it's a pain. Oh, shit. Oh, what the? F it almost looks like, like a thumb. That's thing. weird. Oh, sad. We'll see. It's a weird spot, too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even feel anything. Like, it doesn't feel like anything right now. No, that's weird. Hmm. I guess we'll see if it does start to feel like something. Turn around again? So it's burning or something? You got marked. Um, that's it's so that's red. red. I know, I Ghost right. marked this territory. Ghost hunter Steve is shocked to discover that a large red mark has suddenly appeared on the back of his neck. But he says he doesn't really <clears> feel <throat> a thing. So the group continues upstairs where the angry spirit of the doctor is said to sometimes appear. As they record, they capture something that is downright creepy. Yeah, I'm singing my own voice down there. It was like two or three words. Doctor! Doctor! It, said doctor. it just said doctor. Right after we heard a male voice, it said doctor. Yeah. So the thing is, he says he doesn't like to be called a doctor because he says he was a surgeon. So people call him a doctor and it makes him angry. So we call him a doctor, actually. Is there a doctor down there? Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. I definitely heard a voice coming from down there. The group hears a male voice coming from somewhere in the attic. But did you see it? Right after the investigators hear a voice and their obelisk ghost box says the word doctor a small dark figure can be seen running into the i knew hallway. i wasn't crazy seeing that shit i thought it was one of them Ghost walking past the don't light even notice the odd figure that's crazy only see it once they review their footage later i knew i wasn't so crazy did capture bro. the spirit of the old hospital doctor on camera you decide you can watch this entire investigation over on the youtube channel ghost club paranormal caught on camera Late one night, Claire Mills from Manchester, England gets a notification on her ring camera that someone is moving around in her front yard. For obvious reasons, Claire is a bit worried, and she immediately checks the camera footage. Mm -hmm. What she sees sends chills down her spine. All right. A strange white mist can be seen quickly darting down the driveway before disappearing completely. Claire has no idea what to make of this bizarre figure and wonders if she might have caught a ghost on camera. He flew like he stole we some. scary videos. <laughs> so if you see something scary that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to me at nukestop 5 Secret Shopper. Security guard Garamirez Rivera is working the night shift on New Year's Eve at a Bodega Herrera store in Torreon, Mexico. The security guard is a little bit bored and records a video complaining about having to work all alone on New Year's Eve. Alone is Suddenly, crazy. something very strange happens. Año nuevo, señores. Feliz año nuevo aquí encerrado. Quedando el rondín. I would found me a nice comfy Jale. office. Sat my ass there the whole night. Ay, güey. Hijo de su pinche madre. Algo se oyó. Ni pedo, vámonos. Uy. Hazle la chingada. Es que chingas trae ese pinche mojo. No manches. No se oye con sensor, valiendo madre. Vámonos mejor. Uy, güey. <risa> <risa> Vámonos mejor. 
After this creepy occurrence, the security guard is a little freaked out, but just brushes it off. But then another night at 3.20 in the morning, Rivera Salty thinks he keeps seeing someone walking behind him from the corner of his eye, even though he's the only person in the store. A little spooked, he decides to record himself as he walks through the store, hoping to catch a glimpse of any mysterious intruder that might be following him. What happens next is truly bizarre. Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenas madrugadas. Mm -mm. I don't no, want to see nothing behind bueno, you, bro. Más bien, ando, estoy nervioso, asustado. Siempre traigo mi celular a la mano. Son las 3.20 de la mañana, me tocó aquí guardia nocturna. Bodega Herrera, si se fijan está todo solo. Pero, ahorita acabo de ver a alguien allá en la entrada de clientes se miró allá por la entrada de clientes hasta allá hasta atrás y no hay nadie yo voy a asomarme y no no hay nadie así lo voy a dejar a ver si pues de pura Mm. Chingadera se vuelve a ver, ¿no? Y lo vi clarito, clarito. Ya lo vi otra vez. A ver si, el, a ver si se alcanza a ver. No, me da miedo ir. A eso, eso que se mira ahí. Ese, eso negro que se ve ahí. Mm. Miren, ya se movió. Oh, oh my God, it's walking to him. Está caminando, de hecho, está caminando. Oh, my God. No oh, no, I got chills. Yeah, I got chills. Y se sigue moviendo. I'm good. Se sigue moviendo. Es una persona, claro, está que se... Mire. Run towards Mire. it. Mire. Don't, don't do that. No, 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 no. Vámonos. Someone or something can be seen Hell lurking no. behind the creeped out security guard. Now, we cut to a week later and Rivera is back on another night shift when he spots a little girl aimlessly wandering around outside the supermarket. But before he can approach her, she simply disappears into the night. Given the mm -hmm. late hour and the fact that the little girl was all alone, many viewers have speculated <clears throat> that this little girl could have been responsible for the strange occurrences in the store. What Some the even hell? suggest that she might actually be a ghost. So now a few months go by and things seem to be back to normal at the store. But then Rivera spots a shopping cart doing something a little weird. ¿Qué tal amigos? ¿Cómo están? Oigan, estoy en mi hora de comida. Pero no van a creer amigos. Ahorita escuché que se movió el carrito. No lo vi. Escuché que ese carrito se movió amigos. Se escuchó así clarito como si lo hubieran, si lo hubiera alguien agarrado. Bueno, no sé, a lo mejor son mis nervios. <coughs> Miren, hasta no sé si se fijan, hasta estoy, estoy temblando. <risa> Pero sí, clarito, clarito escuché que lo movieron, amigos. Clarito, clarito. <coughs> Uh, fuck no. Si yo, pues no alcancé a grabarlo, obviamente. Pero mire, no manches, mira. Chéquense, ustedes van a decir si soy yo, son mis nervios, no sé. Pero, mire, no manches. No manches. I've seen all I needed to see. No manches, amigos. Se movió. El carro se movió. Got a little makeshift bed back there. He comfy. <laughs> Estoy seguro. Se movió, amigos. Se movió. As the security guard attempts to capture evidence of the shopping cart moving, a soft voice can be heard saying, Jugamos? Which basically translates in English to, Want to play? Que lo movieron, amigos. Jugamos? Clarito, clarito. So could it be that the Bodega Herrera store in Torreon is haunted by the spirit of a little girl? Or just what is going on here? Demons. I leave it up to you 
to decide. Thank y'all so much uh, for coming back. Shout out to y'all for real. Y'all the real MVPs. There would be no no us here without y'all. It's all about y'all. I hope y'all know this. Well, I appreciate y'all to the fullest uh, extent. Follow me on Instagram and all that other shit if you haven't already. Or if you don't want to. Oh, you know what I mean? You ain't hurting nobody's feelings. A little bit. Um, but nah. Hope y'all have a great rest of the night. Love and appreciate y'all. Stay tuned for another video I got coming. It's not Nuke's top five. Well, more of his will come. But it ain't Nuke's top five. But it's just some random shit I found. Who knows? You never know what you might see. But we'll try to keep it like Halloween related. Whether it's scary or funny or who knows. It might even be like a little short story or some shit. But um, y'all can also like send me videos through Instagram. Join up in the Discord. You know, our little... We got a whole community in there where we just be chilling, talking, laughing, sending memes, all type of shit. People, you know, you send your pets. It's all type of stuff. But look, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Y'all keep your head up. I'm out of here. Peace. Lee, take us out. Hey, choir. Love from the country. Big Lee, not the little one. It's her.